Since 1973, there haven't been any human or robotic landings on the moon, yet interest in finding water, helium-3, or other resources has created a growing demand for robotic space exploration vehicles for the moon as well as Mars and near-Earth asteroids. With so much still to learn about space, many companies are beginning the commercialization of space exploration. NASA is working alongside many of these endeavors in an effort to reduce costs with the goal of increasing our understanding of space. Recently, NASA has been successful in a variety of rover missions to Mars that have found evidence of rich geological history. It is discoveries like these that demonstrate the need for more robotic missions in space. Last year, our team at WPI developed a rover that was successful in the Rascal Exploration RoboOps competition. In this competition, teams create rovers for a teleoperated sample return mission at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Demonstrating our rover at Desert Rats, NASA's analog testing event, gave us many new ideas which were incorporated into Oryx 2.0, our new rover for the 2012 Rascal RoboOps competition. In general, our design of Oryx 2.0 takes a minimalistic approach, reducing complexity by using aluminum parts and composites to form lightweight, rigid structures. Almost all manufacturing for Oryx 2.0 was done at our machining facilities on campus. CNC machining was used to make lightweight aluminum parts, which then underwent a yellow chromate conversion process for aesthetics and to increase corrosion resistance. Finally, precision fixtures were used to make weldments and for bonding carbon fiber assemblies. To evaluate our rover's mobility, several tests were done on a variety of obstacles and rough terrain to emulate what our rover would experience at NASA's Johnson Space Center rock yard. To increase the capability of traversing rocks and overall stability, a passive averaging suspension system was used. This design feature greatly improved mobility, allowing Oryx 2.0 to climb obstacles significantly larger than its wheel diameter. In addition to being a ruggedized mobility platform, Oryx 2.0 also incorporates features aimed at making payload integration quick and easy. The flat top plate combined with accessible power and data connections makes it easy to bolt on additional payloads. For example, the RoboOps competition requires a vision system for teleoperation and to locate rocks. For this, we made a deployable pan tilt camera that can be bolted on and ready to operate in less than 5 minutes. The arm and sample storage payloads will be integrated in a similar way. With the ability to quickly add on payloads, Oryx 2.0 will be ready for the Rascal RoboOps competition, but can also be reconfigured for other testing purposes or mission scenarios. With so much unknown and unexplored, continued missions to the Moon and Mars hold promise for new discoveries. Harvesting resources have potential economic benefits that have bred a new generation of space exploration companies. For these reasons, we think that space exploration has unbounded potential and hope that our rover will contribute to the space exploration revolution that is starting to take form.